Paul Dussold is a highly regarded realist painter with provocative insights into art and culture. Here's a short section of a recent lecture that he gave at the Pennsylvania Academy of the Fine Arts during its World War I exhibition. Modernism, in many ways, could be described as a kind of artistic identity crisis. Remember that I said, with the Impressionists, there is a kind of culmination of that pursuit of visual perception through painting. It had all been done. Rembrandt, Vermeer, Velasquez, Monet, you really can't do it any better. And not only that, but now modernists were also uh, faced with the new technology of photography. So photography could do a lot of what previously painting had sought to accomplish. It was a kind of identity crisis. And add to that, that the modern world was so much different than what had come before because of modernity, because of all that scientific and technological progress, the experience of day-to-day -day life itself felt wholly new and different. In that regard, it seemed that the old way of artistic expression didn't apply any longer. It was a new world, it was an identity crisis. The hallmarks of modernism, they are basically rebellion. So when we look at these paintings, I think it's fair to say that we feel, even as they are not angry necessarily, that there is a kind of act of rebellion, a kind of revolution that is taking place. A revolution that rejects the past. It is a rejection of traditions of all kinds, especially traditions of art history. Art history no longer seems to apply when we're looking at these paintings and we are made to feel a kind of questioning of everything about what we had brought in as preconceptions to the experience of looking at paintings. In that rejection of our history, modernism particularly and vehemently rejects realism. Realism didn't apply in a world where all of a sudden what had felt to be an understood experience of life was no longer so understood was no longer so acceptable, especially after the devastation of World War I. After World War I, modernism becomes the establishment. As a rejection of realism is a rejection of the painting being a reference to something outside itself. With abstraction, even as these paintings are not fully abstract, they are a part of the experiment with the idea of the painting being entirely self-referential. The painting doesn't make us think of persons, places, or things outside of itself. The painting acts as the subject itself. We experience a sense of perception, a sense of consciousness, by seeing the formal relationships of color, shape, line quality, not at the service of an illusion, not at the service of something outside itself, entirely contained within the painting. Radically different. And as it is radically different, and as it is a rejection of the past, as it is an experiment, it will have to take time to work this out. Audiences find Mr. Dussault's lectures spellbinding. If your group is interested, he can be reached at pauldusold at verizon.net or you can call him at 215-438-3440.